Hey everybody, this is Beth McCullough and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Iowa in the middle of the United States. And I do Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. And I'm always joined by my sweet husband, Steve. Hi everybody. Can they see you, Steve? I think they can see me. So it was an exciting weekend. Do you want to tell them about your song, Steve? I do. I'm starting this. Yes. So I got to sing a song that I wrote, uh, the third song, so, actually. So you're a songwriter? I guess so, because they keep coming to me. And I, I got to sing this one at our traditional service at 8 o'clock on Sunday I'm, morning. I'm going to interrupt you. He's He's written three songs in six months. Yeah. Never had the desire to write a song or be a singer. It's definitely <laughs> it doesn't read notes. <laughs> I, it's definitely the Holy Spirit because yeah. this is not my thing, but it just seems to keep happening. So I got to sing with uh, Pastor Richard Webb as the accompanist, and he is an amazing keyboardist, piano player, organist. and organ. Yeah, and uh, so he made it sound really pretty and. Um, so Steve yeah. wrote the lyrics and the music and got to sing it. And I did post it on my Stamping Mom Facebook page. If you, although some people have had trouble getting onto the link and actually seeing it, but if you want the lyrics or if you want to hear a recording of the song, let me know. And we'll try to put it out there easier. If you have a Facebook account, you should be able to follow the link that Beth put out there. Okay. So we got some fun mail this week. Bev Stokes, are you on? Is she here? Um, I haven't been looking at my comments. Uh, I am delinquent. Bev, are you there? What's he doing? Come on, get with I, this. I got to get. I got to get. Bev is here. Of course, she's here. Okay, so Bev makes these beautiful. She uses a CD case, and she makes these beautiful calendars. So there's a different page for every month. Look at those cute sheep. Look at Easter. I don't know if you know this, Bev, but my birthday is in April. And I think that may be the cutest one, too. Isn't that, darling? <laughs> it that, must that, be, because that, that's when your birthday that is. That was sweet of you to make April extra special. But it is darling, and I got it in the mail this week, and it just makes me so happy. So thank you. Thank you very much. And Steve appreciates it too, don't you, Steve? Yes. It sits on my desk over here. I don't share with him. You know what? But... It makes her happy, so it makes me happy. Okay. Then I got some other. I got this thank you card using this beautiful paper, which is awesome. And this is Holly Olson. And she put scripture in here, and she was thanking me for one of the prize patrols she won. If you would like to win a prize patrol, stick around till the end of our video. We always have prize patrol. And that was super sweet that she sent me a thank you card. Thank you, Holly. And it's beautiful. And I love, I forget what this is called when this part stays flat and this part opens. Book binder card, maybe. But you guys know what it's called. But that's super fun. And then this card made me smile, too. It is actually from Chad at the Stampin' Up! Home Office. And he sent me this for um, earning the incentive trip, which I've never done before. So I've never gotten a card from Chad. But I thought that was super sweet. And I feel like you guys all share in this because you all helped me. So thank you for that. So Mary posted Happy Heart Month. And I'm not... I didn't know about that. Well, it's not just Valentine's Day. It's actually Heart Healthy Month, I believe. Wow. And you would like a heart. I, that's I, why I'm asking. I need heart health. Yes. So, Mary, if you want to put another comment in and explain okay. further, I would appreciate it. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. So, this is like counterintuitive to heart health. But is this little robot not adorable? I borrowed Barb's nuts and bolts set and then I colored him with the Highland Heather blends and the real red blends and I have two other different styles for this type of candy it's not heart healthy but isn't this DSP cute too 
It is from the current Valentine DSP. But yes, it is another Reese's box. I have them for every season and every style. And I just thought it'd be fun to come up with one. A lot of times I do the easy ones that just wrap around. So this time I made a full box. And also I thought this is big enough. You could use it for other things if you're not a Reese's fan. But this measures about three and a quarter by one and three fourths. And it's about three fourths of an inch thick. So I think there's lots of other candy that would fit in this box, like Ghirardelli. Ooh, you might put that in there, I right? Betcha. Especially the uh, the caramel that was in the, the center. The caramel, yes. the dark chocolate with caramel. Yeah, and the dark chocolate with almond in it. Ugh. Yeah. Now I'm getting hungry. Yeah, he's having food. He, he hasn't had dinner yet. So anyway, this is what we're making tonight. Let me know in the comments, do you like it when we make a fun fold? Do you like it when we make a... Linda Mandernack said the box is adorable. Gift. Oh, thank you, Linda. Speaking of Linda, Linda Mandernack was at my stamp camp this weekend. It was an international stamp camp. We had live videos every two hours for 24 hours. Plus, she got a card kit. And I talked to Linda earlier today, and she had a fabulous time. And there were a couple of other Lindas that might be on here tonight that also did it. So... Thank you for your kind words for the next stamp camp is the last weekend in April. And whether you're a customer or a demo, you'll want to do this. Actually, I think demos really like it because they get ideas and measurements and tutorials to make all kinds, not just the 12 card kit cards or the 12 live cards, but you also get more ideas and tips. But we are doing the symbols of fortune. So this is free starting today with an order of $82.75 in my online store. You need to use the host code and you get the bundle, the ribbon, the polished dots. This mother of pearl paper is beautiful and the DSP is outstanding. So I did have a couple of people who don't want this bundle. You can substitute another bundle of $46.75 or more and get these other items because it's flowers. So you could use a different flower for your vocal point. But are you going to be there helping me at the next stamp camp? Steve? Of course. He did say Friday night when I'm like, honey, we have a live video tomorrow. And he's like, I don't work on Saturdays. And I'm like, well, you, you do now. Right? Well, I was going to have to talk to Beth, my agent, about whether that was in my contract or not. <laughs> and... Well, Bev wasn't there, so you had to go ahead and do it, I, right? I did. <laughs> Plus, you know, I just waited out and thought, Beth being really happy with me, Beth being disappointed with me. And then, you know, it was an easy choice. And you went ahead and did it? I did. Okay. So, should we get started? This is very easy. I hope you'll make it along with me. Although, you know, one thing I didn't do, can you hand me some of that red paper? Oh. I didn't make my belly band. Bev says I get time and a half on Saturday and double time on Sunday. There you go. She is a good agent, she is. isn't she? Absolutely. Okay. As you were talking to Bev, could you hand me a strip in there so I could cut a belly band? So what you're going to need for this, thank you, sweetie. What you're going to need for this is a seven inch by seven and a quarter sheet of cardstock. And I would encourage you to either get out a piece of white cardstock and make the template with me as we go along or go ahead and make the box with me. So seven by seven and a quarter is your cardstock. Then you need two pieces of designer series paper. They both are three and a half inches long. One is one and a quarter and one is one and three fourths. Am I supposed to be displaying Are you this? putting up banners? Well, Steve? I was. Just... Am I going through it too fast? <laughs> yes, I, oh, I, okay. I'm way behind you at this point. I, I put banners in there and Steve will show the banners when we actually make it, okay? And then the other thing that we need is a belly band. And for some reason, I didn't cut the belly band. Um, but it's just one inch by about six and a half. Okay. So now it's just literally these four pieces is all you need. But what you're going to do is you're going to put the short side at the top of your trimmer, which is the seven inch side. 
and put the left edge of your cardstock at one and a half. Get the cutting blade out of the way because we want to score, not cut. You can also use your scoreboard for this. If you like using this better, go ahead and use this. You can use this or the trimmer. They both work. So my left edge is at one and a half and I'm scoring. I'm gonna move it over to two and a quarter. And I'm going to score it again. Then move that left edge over to four and a quarter. And the last score on this side is at five inches. Now you're gonna flip it so that the seven and a quarter side is at the top. Are you doing measurements for this? I am, but I just forgot to do the seven and seven and a quarter. So I'm just showing that while you're flipping. Okay. So the whole thing is seven by seven and a quarter. Right. And can you show the measure, the scoring? I, I did on you the did. short side. You did. Okay. Now we're going to score the long side. And you guys that are on, tell us what you're up to this week. And is anyone telling us if you want fun folds, 3D gift Everybody boxes? likes both. Uh, everybody likes all the above. Do you so. like everything? Well, everybody likes everything. <laughs> okay. Easy crowd. You guys, you guys are sweet. I, I love you. Thank you for coming and watching on Tuesdays. It makes my day. Does it make your day? It does. So Catherine Monroe is on from Vancouver. Oh, should we, should we tell uh, or should we wait? Wait until it's time for me to tell a story. Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming on tonight, Catherine. So now I have the long side at the top and this left edge is at one inch. Got to check if I put it in the right place. So we're going to score at one inch. Yeah, I have a lot of cutting out of the cardstock corners, and I didn't do that ahead of time. So you better come up with a story, dude. Well, I've got a good one. I'm a ready. good one? Yeah. Are we going to say why it's that week? That's up to you. Move over to five and a half. And move over to six and a quarter. Hey, I have a tip for you. Can you see this? Yes. The, I want to call it the crack. That doesn't sound very good. The space between the trimmer and when you open up the arm, it's not clear to me what the measurement is there. So I have a dot up here that says six and a quarter. So it, it just gets jumbled up because right here there's lines and then there's a space with no lines and then there's white lines and it's just not obvious. But right where the trimmer arm comes is six and a quarter. And on this one, you need to measure it six and a quarter. So I thought I'd share that with you. It's easier for me. And, and then I wouldn't remember the measurement next time. So I just write it down and put it on there. So we have four going in each direction. Now I'm going to use my bone folder and burnish on the lines. And I'm also going to cut... And I'm going to show you what I'm going to cut. There are, I'm going to cut the four, the two squares and the four rectangles out of each corner. I'm kind of messing up my template here. So I'm shocked that you actually wrote on it like that because, you know. Okay. So get your scissors out and go past the first score line and cut up to the second score line and stop. And then one score line, two score lines and cut out all four corners. And if you would stick with me, I don't know exactly what your story is, but mm -hmm. I know it has to do with Canada, it does. right? Yeah. So you go for it for a okay. minute. I'm just cutting out these so, in. And you don't have a banner for that, I noticed. Leave. But, are you criticizing no i'm just saying i couldn't I, find it so. i put i put all these measurements in and you're okay. like you, you well, don't have a banner but here's for that. The thing. <laughs> don't worry she will post the template after we get all done she'll with post the, it with the lines that i just with drew the lines the beautiful lines that you just drew yes the beautiful lines okay so, I, i'm cutting into your story time Steve. so probably i don't know what it was 
eight years ago, we um, went on a trip of a lifetime, although we've now taken it twice, to Anchorage, Alaska. We rented a mobile uh, home, an RV. And we, a motor uh, home. sorry, a motor home, mobile home, not a mobile home, an RV. And we drove to Denali and drove to Seward and we just had an amazing time. Our son was in Seattle doing an internship and we thought if we're going to go all the way to Seattle to visit him, we should go to Alaska. Oh. So um, we rented the RV from a place called Great Alaskan Holidays. And they saw we were from Iowa and said, hey, we got a deal for you. Because we we buy RVs from Winnebago in Forest City, which is two hours north of us. Mm -hmm. And then we ask people to drive them to Anchorage. And you can have up to 18 days to get there. And it's at a steeply discounted price for the rent of the you, RV. You can take more than 18 days, but it's not steeply discounted, discounted anymore. anymore. <laughs> so um, we put down $500 as a deposit. Years ago. Years ago. But then they decided to start buying their RVs from Forest River, Indiana. And other things happened. We had we have four kids. The last two graduated from college when you, or of, high school yeah. when you had to Lots do that. of reasons. But the bottom line is this year. Well, this year we couldn't do it because the Stampin' Up! cruise that I earned was during the time you had to take the RVs. So we had written it off for another year. Written it off. And then two things happened. Um, Beth was disappointed when the, the stamping up cruise was, I was devastated <laughs> okay, was canceled um and they called us and said hey we're back in forest city in in iowa picking up the rvs do you want to go this year so we said yes yes we do beth has been on me for quite a while she's probably watched what 30 or 40 videos of people the, in camper vans. camper vans camper vans most and people want a great big luxurious motor home. I'm, no no I'm no no sorry. i'm done i need to tell them what's next okay so Hold the story you stop okay <laughs> got it okay i have everything cut and bone folders is that a name a word it is now folders. it's now a verb okay so i'm gonna take my dsp and that goes on the short flap going this way and I also want to corner around the edges. So I'm going to corner around the bottom of the designer series paper and the cardstock. And then I'm also going to attach the bigger, whatever way, if you have directional paper, put it in the right direction. Um, I'm going to attach this right here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to corner around that or not. You can wait and see. Okay. So Go. I am not sold on camper vans because At all. I think it's going to be too tiny. And I don't know that Beth can stand me when she's got to be that close to me for 18 days in a row. We're about to find out because they had can camper I, vans. Can I interrupt again? They had Winnebago There's camper vans. There's a big wilderness we can out there that he can go explore. <laughs> yeah, with mosquitoes. And, so, and bears. And bears. So we, are, we selected. We could have gotten a regular Class C RV. Or, or a full size. But instead... We told them, no, we want the little camper van because this will be our test of whether we should get a camper van, whether we would no. like it or not. Instead of getting a camper van and using it once and losing tons of money selling it. In we're a going discount. to rent one and try it out and see how it goes. And we signed the contract yesterday. And today I was looking into it more. We have a, a tiny, our, our refrigerator is like a... a 12 inch by 12 inch refrigerator and i'm like oh it'll be okay i figured out this morning watching a video there's no microwave no, there's microwave. no oven no oven everything's got to be warmed like up on make, the stove we like to make our own food steve was like how will we make how will we do it i said we do have two burners and he still was like how do you do things without a microwave <laughs> you know I, it'll be good for us right? we'll figure it out this is part of the fun though of you know just having to macgyver things and figure them out and, and do you it'll be an adventure since, since you guys helped me earn the trip maybe day by day we could go through the adventures of the day wouldn't that be fun we could put them on stampingmom.com and people could find out just what we're doing and what what new would thing you, we figured would you out be interested like, in that something like oh we don't have a microwave yeah 
or the toilet is a, what's the toilet called? It's called a cassette toilet. A cassette toilet. It's not the regular hookup type toilet that you would have in an RV. It's like a, a box and you've got to take the entire box out and then dump it. And then there's a cart. You can cart it. Yeah. Your... So anyway, um, it's going to get limited by, use. By the way, there's something we need to talk about. We, we like to divide our jobs into different things, right? He, he likes me to do the stamping and he does the technology. Well, I would like to drive the van and I would like him to take care of the cassette toilet yeah, dumping. And, and the other <laughs> RV stuff. And that's fine. But yeah, so again, it's because it's a camper van. So we'll see what other idiosyncrasies. It's really interesting too, because you can open up the tailgate and then it's got a shower curtain you put across it that's black. Steve's going to shower. And it's got an outdoor outside. shower yeah. between yeah. the two doors. Yeah. You you take a hose thing and you shower. You're right there. I'll, I'll take a picture of that. <laughs> that I'm going sure to he'll, be he'll wear a swimming suit to shower. Yeah. Well, something like that. But we'll 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 have to try that and see how it works. And then it's also got a pop up on top, so you can pop up the top and then sleep up there. And we both think we want to sleep up there. Yeah. Well, the, the problem it's is... It's like the old VW buses. So these um, these buses, it's like that. We're we're riding in a VW... Can you see this It's up not there? a VW bus, though. It's not a VW bus. But it's bus, like the but, old camper vans yeah. from VW. Because it's got the pop-up top, and then you can sleep up there. And Gene Kohler said, my son just converted a van into a camper. And he's been renting it out already. It'd be interesting to see what feedback he's gotten from people. Okay, Gene, if we like this and we survive, would he like to build out a, a, custom a van for us? for us? Yeah. Now we know. We know somebody that's actually done it. Beth asked me, wouldn't you like to do that? Wouldn't that be fun? And I'm just terrified of it because... Yeah, I could do it. But usually when I do projects, I have to kind of do it and redo it and MacGyver it. And I wouldn't want to do that in a van that's supposed you know, to be worth a lot you know, of money. When you when you put a hole in the ceiling to put the van in. It should be then, in the right place. And then it's bigger, like the hole is bigger than the van. And you're like, oops, that's oops. what he's worried about. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so that's my story for today. We'll see how this goes. I, we've already started to plan some itinerary for what we're going to do on our 18 days. So anyone who has ideas for us of what for we should do. Canada, Alaska, right. Montana. Right. So we're going to drive up through Montana to uh, Calgary. And we're huge Heartland fans. Do you guys, did you watch the Heartland TV series show? with the horses and the yeah, ranch we and Amy, see the horse Amy. whisperer? Yeah. So she actually has a store where you can go buy souvenirs. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to go visit her and ride horses on her ranch. Yeah. And we'll go, well, it's not her ranch. It's a ranch next to it, but it's some of the same scenery from the TV show. So then um, we will go to um, Bamp and Jasper. And then we'll and head north glacier, on the Yukon Highway. Um, well, we're trying to decide if we have enough time. See, that's why we've got to figure out just how much time we want to spend in Alaska and just how much time we want to spend in Canada. Um, but then we're going to we're going to drive to Alaska on the Yukon, Yukon Highway on 97. And um, I know you guys are busy, but can you take a look at this? We cut out the four corners. Little DSP, big DSP, and I did corner around the edges just because I thought it looked cute. And then I'm going to put it together this way. I'm going to take the, the candy bar out of here. And I'm going to fold in the sides and put the glue just right here, but not get it too far to the top because this piece doesn't quite reach the top. And then I'm just going to fold it down and the belly band's going to hold it in. Although Bev will probably want us to use magnets for the moment, but we can't because the DSP is already on. But a magnet would have worked. <laughs> yes, it would have. And Christy Birkenbosch just said hello from Kauai, Hawaii. Christy. Where it is not the same temperature as it is here. Okay. Christy, look at your phone, please. You butt dialed me three times today, and I had my phone put away for a couple hours, and I got it out, and there were three missed calls from you. And I panicked. I thought something horrible has happened to your daughter or one of your grandsons here in town where I am, as opposed to you, like I'm in the cold and the snowstorm and you're in beautiful Hawaii. 
And um, but there was no um, intelligible conversation on the message. So, mm. so okay, your phone wanted to chat with me today, but you didn't. so um, anyone out there that's got ideas for us on what we should do driving through Canada and driving through Alaska, please let us know. We're looking for ideas. We want to know what are the absolute must sees. What what do we have to make sure and see? We've been to. Alaska before, and we've driven um, to both Denali and Seward, and we've gone on a whale watching trip, which yeah, Beth about, wants to yeah. do that again. I didn't tell Beth yet, but I found a place we could do sea kayaking. So, sea you know, the kayaking, only thing, we're going to be out there with the whales. The only thing better than seeing the whales from a boat would be if we were in a kayak. Okay, we haven't discussed this. <laughs> I just wanted you to see her reaction. I knew that's um, what she would do. Okay, so. I'm into safety and security. Steve is into adventure and living on the edge. <laughs> so let's finish the box because we've been talking a lot. I've been talking a lot. What time I, is it? It is 727. Okay. I am very sorry we've been talking so much. Yeah, so. Well, I'm the one that's been talking saying you're the one that's apologizing. So that's funny. Okay. So on this one, I colored the robot. And I used the layering circle, which is this. And I did the third smallest layering circle. So I'm going to do something different on this one. I got out my real red ink pad. And I'm just going to put a little sentiment on here. My red ink looks like it needs to be re-inked. It's a good thing about Stampin' Up! ink pads. You can... Um, you don't have to buy new ones. You Wait, just buy the re-inker. I forgot to put up the uh, banner for the belly band. So the belly band is one inch by well, six and a half And inches. I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. But now you're using the third smallest layered circle die to right. cut out the thing that you're now going to put the sentiment yeah, and on. And normally I would stamp it and then do the sentiment so that it's on here. Um but look what it says on here, honey. You make my heart beat. You make my heart go beat. Ah. Guess who this is for? Is it for me? It is. Yay. I love so, it when you make me Valentine's. Okay. So now we got the belly band. Now we have the belly band. It's one inch by about six and a half. And you can score it ahead of time if you want. What I'm going to do is wrap it around and get it about where it's going to go. And then I'm going to score it. It was more fun when you were talking. Well, you did know, you this read, is about stamping. Did you read any of the comments? Yes. Well, we haven't gotten any yet with advice on our trip. So. No comments. But I'm sure people will be emailing you. You can email me at Beth at stampingmom.com. And who is your stamping friend from Kamloops? That's west of uh, Banff. So we should find out. She was on your uh, stamp camp the other day. You know, I don't know that I actually know her. Um, I think we just met at the stamp camp. Okay. So she is either um, a customer of Melva or Diane's. I don't know who. Okay, so you just wrap the belly band around. What do you guys think of this? It's super easy. And you can make it to fit any size candy. And, you know, maybe what I should do is tell you, um, I don't just go and find these boxes. I pick the candy that I want. And then I make the box to fit. And... Are you curious how to do that? Or maybe you all know. This would look cute with a layer, too. I should have put a layer on there. But, um, you know, I don't like just the white with the sentiment on there. We're going to put this guy. Do you like the robot better? Oh, yeah, but see, he's from a different box. So the belly band may not be exactly the right size. Yeah, but it's close enough. There. You make my heart go beep and the robot. So the way I do this is I take my candy that I want to do and see how that fits here. 
And then I go ahead and measure the sides. And for this, I needed about three fourths of an inch. So I went out three fourths of an inch here. And then I also went out three fourths of an inch here. So all the way around this center box, I added three fourths of an inch. And then I decided how big of a flap I wanted. And I added that on and I wanted this part to come up further. So it's literally, you can make a box for anything that you buy, candles or Kleenex or whatever, just by setting it on the paper and then figuring out what size. So that's that's how I did this. So you have another banner here that says cut DSP to one and a quarter by three and a half and one and three quarters. And, three and, and a half. that is the DSP that we put on the front flap and the front of the box. And if you wanted to go wild, you could put DSP layers on the front and the back and the top. And I just wanted to make a simple box because um, I figured Steve would take these to trivia on Thursday night to Ryan's friends. And they really just care about the candy inside, right? Some of the oh, gals no. like the box. Yeah. They're, some of them so, are crafty. But, and with a, with a grandchild, you may not want a box that takes an hour. Instead, make a box that takes five minutes and then you can make them for all of them. So that is what I have for you today. So prize patrol, what are we doing for prize patrol? Uh, what are we doing for prize patrol? What are we doing for prize patrol? Okay. Prize patrol number one. Is going to be this hammered metal 3D embossing folder because I love it. Do you see this card here? This silver is made with the hammered metal. This was a Christmas card that I made, but I really like the hammered metal and I've used it a lot. So that is prize number one. Prize number two, excuse me, is a tutorial of your choice. And I just had a new tutorial bundle go on. So the embossing folder is number one and it is a new month. So everyone can win. I'm going to keep the winners from the four weeks in February. So we'll have eight unique winners. So if you win a second time in the month, we'll redraw the name. So everyone's good to go tonight. Everyone is, but if you have not typed hashtag prize patrol, you should into the comments, you should do that now. I have 14 people entered. So you have good odds to win, right? Right. Are we ready? Yay. Chris said she loves the box. Thank you, Chris. Steve doesn't tell me comments like that. I do. <laughs> I've been telling you lots of those today. I'm just teasing. Okay. Will it show on there? It's showing. You it's, ready? We're oh, drawing for to... the hammered metal? Yes, we are drawing for the embossing Here we floor. go. Oh, we have some new names on there tonight. Mary, Mary Harris. Mary Harris sure does win a lot. Good job, She's Mary a lucky Harris. Gal. And then number two is for the. Do you think the computer just likes Mary? I don't know. But, you know, I like Mary, so yeah. the computer probably does. I think if you want to win our prize patrol, say your name is Mary. <laughs> Although one night it was all Linda's, so who knows? You never know. Yeah. So number two, we are happy you won, Mary. And you might have to send me your address again. I don't keep a file of those. So number two for the tutorial bundle. Here we go. Bev Stokes. Bev Stokes. Yay, Bev. You get your choice of a tutorial bundle. And you can let me know what you want. Now, Bev and Mary, since you won in February, maybe don't put your name in again in February. But you can win again in March. So here we have it. Two sweet little boxes and a robot. <clears throat> Do you have anything else, Steve? Uh, that's all I have. The, I have a new host code, and you can sign up for the next camp that's free already. 
by using my host code and getting that bundle or the same price, which is around 80 some dollars. So I hope you all have a blessed week. I'd love to hear your ideas of what we should do in Canada and Alaska and Montana. Yep. Do you have anything else? That's it. Have a blessed week. Thank you so, Bye. so much. Please come back next week and please watch it on YouTube if you can instead of Facebook. That would be good. Steve's a number guy and we need more hours watched on Facebook or on Facebook, on YouTube. So watch Thanks on YouTube. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.